No. And here's where we have issues, guys. Look at any Weapon X series, you know, anything, the Wolverine title series, Wolverine's issues with Victor Creed, Sabretooth, alright? Wolverine has adamantium infused with his bones. Obviously, originally his bones were regular bones. Strider, or whatever you call it, for Weapon X. Stuck all that stuff in him, and he was in Weapon X with Victor Creed and a bunch of other goons, mm -hmm. which have showed up in this silly film. Now, Sabretooth is immensely strong and stronger than Wolverine. In a sustained fight between him and Wolverine, Sabretooth would kill Wolverine. That's how it works. Wolverine's only ability to survive fights with Sabretooth is based on his mutant healing factor. Sabretooth is huge. And any comic you see of Sabretooth, Wolverine, he's, he's Victor Creed, Logan, he's looking down on him. And it's... It's an iconic image because it's about David and Goliath. That's how all the comic book, the covers look, any promotion between them and Sabretooth. You're thinking, how is this meant to work? Because, like, like you know, you're so talking so Because, like, like, the whole idea was, like, it was like, Sabretooth is like this guy always bullying. Exactly. This, this guy. And he's always, he's always just there, just taunting this guy and everything. And he's always the bigger one of, of them. And that's always the, the, the clever I think that it's not even an idea. I read the comics and that's what is what happens. It's like Sabretooth doesn't leave the guy alone and he has history with he has such history with and Sabretooth is kinda of like in certain as respects he's an ambiguous character as to how good or how bad he is. But one thing is always constant, him and Logan do not mix because of the history they have between them. Obviously I'm not gonna go into the history for anybody who doesn't want any spoilers, mm. but because of the histories they do have with them, they have their friction. And obviously they come to blows on frequent occasions. Now, all I'm saying, guys, is let's guess real. The, com the David and Goliath principle, Wolverine, Sabretooth. It has to be there because that is the essence of their conflict. That's the essence, the essential aesthetic of their conflict. If you don't take that seriously, you're not... What are you doing? It's almost like saying you're going to make a Batman movie, but he's not... He's not going to have a cape. Because you think Batman is more than a cape. Or like, he only operates in... in no, in okay, no, it does a bit ex extreme. But it's like, you can argue, okay, it's really about the cape, and he doesn't... But, the whole point is that, the cape is about him doing that with it. Yeah. And doing he all that. He thinks he's a bat. <laughs> you know, Batman, he thinks without, he's a bat. Without the cape, he becomes something different. You can say, yeah, you can make a film about it, which is why it's not the same as... Day. It's like saying that yeah. you saying Batman oppressing in the days, I think Wolverine doesn't have claws. I mean, no, yeah. he has to have claws. I mean, that, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. an essence. It's, it, it's got to be in the night to an extent. Yeah. But when we now go into okay, um, stuff that you can probably do with that, time. yeah, that, yeah. that, that it, it is you gray get in area. gray areas. So, we the question that how gray an area is Batman's cape, how gray an area is Wolverine's height. Now, you know, and I say Batman's cape. Is it black and white? But if anything, it's less black and white than Wolverine's height. Wolverine is essentially small. Is essentially small. Like, that is part of him. It's like saying you're going to have Lord of the Rings and Gimli is tall. Oh, no, I mean, like, it's like, what, what are you doing? I mean, listen, basically, like, for me, I read, obviously, I read some of the X Men comics and everything, but really, I pretty much watched every single episode of the X Men cartoon there of the Fox series. And obviously, it's, even if it's not really, like, the comic and everything, it was still. A bloody good series and everything and Wolverine in that he's the whole idea of him the way he spoke how he was his size and his relation to everybody in the X-Men thing was like this is just this small gruffy thingy guy who gets low on you and he's very low and everything he's not like this like tall elegant mm -hmm. thing and everything like, no, no. He's, no. Just, he's a very low guy and no. very like thing like and that's why people gravitate towards him Ex you know, the nail on the head. Yeah, that's why because he was sort against the grain of like what you would expect of like a superhero. Like he wasn't elegant. He wasn't what like I, what I said. Like, like obviously, Malka, um half of his favorites. Um, no. The Merc has his favorites, and you know he says he likes Two Face. My main comics has always been Wolverine and Sabretooth. and Wolverine. As 
Half of just said the main one of the main reasons I I did like Kovun is because of the fact that he is an outsider, and he's an outsider for many reasons that you and it helps to sell that concept of being an outsider when you look at somebody. You can't look at somebody who looks like Hugh Jackman does and think, oh, he's an outsider. No, you look at Dustin Hoffman and you think, oh, he looks a bit like an outsider. You look at, let's say, Mel Gibson mm. and he looks like he might, like he's an outsider in, you know, the Man Max movies. You look at, whatever you call it, all these guys and, you, you know, you look, you literally, you, that's what I say, one of the cook business. You look at Hugh Jackman in that movie and he looks like a guy who is doing his own thing. Mm. <laughs> you know, <laughs> for God's sake, look at Hugh Jackman in Aus Australia. Please wait, look at Hugh Jackman in Aus Australia. And do you think... <laughs> Jack Nicholson. Do you think Jack Nicholson could ever do that? Impossible. Like, look at those posters. Do you think um, Dustin Hoffman or even or Mel Gibson could even do that? Even Tom Cruise couldn't do it because Tom Cruise is too short. <laughs> There's something about a guy who's that tall that... <laughs> Enables you to have that kind of presence in, let's say, in a big romantic mm. epic like Gone with the Wind, which Australia is. Mm. That's the point. That sort of stature cannot be Wolverine. And anybody who really cares about Wolverine, who really understands comics, who understands the heart of all this stuff, should reject that stuff. It's, it's, it's as simple as that. Sabretooth has to be huge. He's a beast. He's a saber tooth. He's not a guy from down the pub. Because <laughs> yeah, no. um, Liv Schreiber like, looks like a guy. First of all, let me talk about Liv Le Schreiber. He's actually shorter than no, no. Liv Schreiber saber tooth. If you've seen the poster for Defiance with Daniel Craig, Liv Schreiber looks exactly like he does in the Defiance poster. <laughs> that like he does, but it's like he now has yes fans in an Wolverine. He looks exactly the same. A little bit, a bit of stubble and like a black trench coat. Guys, let me tell you a, a secret. I mean, come on. Guys. Hugh Jackman now is developing a comic book. Hugh Jackman is it? developing a comic book. Is it? Yeah, he. I thought it was on on whether that. Yeah, he he's hiring um, guys to write a comic and with a view to star in it sometime in the future. <laughs> that's now. Listen, I don't want to say that's categorically true because this is what I read on sources of, online. It might it might be untrue. But it's something to think about when you're thinking about how these people see this business. Okay. Going back to Liv Schreiber, <laughs> our mate looks like a geezer who's going down to the pub. Alright. Alright. <laughs> he's just a you guy. Know, right, same. <laughs> you know, he's just some geezers like, yeah, you know, alright, you know, what's going on yeah. <laughs> It doesn't work like that, is it? He, no, totally wrong. Completely he, wrong. He and what's, the, the fact is, Hugh Jackman is bigger than this guy. Yeah, no, in terms he's of, taller. of width and height. This guy's bigger than this guy. No, width, I think he's big. No, width. Have you seen have you seen all the weights that, that Hugh Jackman's been doing? Oh. No, I'm just saying I'm judging from the poses that I've, I've seen them in Trevor looks. He's no, he's definitely taller. One hundred percent he's taller. Alright, listen, I say you guys I, I that I mean, I'll, is, I'll, is, I'll, is, I'll, is, you can you guys can go check it out. But I'm saying that if anything they're the same, I'll put Hugh Jackman is actually slightly wider, definitely taller than this guy. Mm. And that's meant to be Wolverine against Sabretooth. Where's the drama in that? Like, it looks like if Wolverine can beat up this, this, this guy. Like, Wolverine looks like if, like, Sabretooth, who, who is this guy? Sabretooth, like, he doesn't look... There is no amount of fear that you should have with a guy who wears a trench coat and looks like a guy you could just see on the street. The moment you see Sabretooth, he should be a guy that should just attack you visually. He should be like, whoa, bloody hell, man. Jeez, you know that this guy can do damage. So, I mean, what if you can live shy, but that guy, he can't do anything, man. I mean, and that is just when you just have guys who, they, they don't take the comic seriously, come on. Oh, but, but I don't know.